Greetings, this is Sister Dominique of Lord Ministries and reading through the Father's Word on Shabbat. So this is my personal finalized um, calendar for the Commanded Feast as it was given to me and as I understand it um, based on the moon sightings here being the new moon entering into a Shabbat um, and the Feast of Trumpets on September the, the 5th by the Gregorian calendar, this is the first day of the Hebrew month. Then <clears throat> we count forward to the Shabbat that we just had yesterday on 9-11, which on the Hebrew calendar is the 7th. Today is the 8th. Tomorrow is the 9th. Tomorrow is also the at evening at sunset begins the Day of Atonement. My advice to you is to begin preparing uh, make sure you drink, start drinking liquids today. Don't drown yourself in liquid, liquids, but make sure you're drinking enough liquids. Um, eat, um, and then on Friday is the Day of Atonement at sunset. You want to eat before sunset, so I would suggest eating at between 6.30 and 7 or 6.30 and 7 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time so that you don't go into the Day of Atonement when you're supposed to fast and pray, okay? So take a snapshot of this. Um, I'm going to give you 10 seconds when I'm done explaining it. So this this particular Friday, excuse my the baby in the background, but um, my granddaughter. So this is the Day of Atonement at sunset. Then Saturday, the 14th of September, which is actually the 10th day in the Hebrew calendar, marks the actual Day of Atonement. That is a day of fasting and prayer. No eating after sunset on the 13th until sunset here you want to pre-prepare a meal or then make something quick like making a salad that you can top off with either like some tuna fish or a steak or chicken that you've already prepared so you can break the um the fast the it's going to be around 7 30 that the day of atonement begins on the 13th of september and it's going to be around 7 30 that the day of atonement ends um check your local times <clears throat> then after the 10th day, we go to the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th day is the Shabbat. That's our regular Shabbat. Shabbat number one for the month, Shabbat number two for the month, Shabbat number three for the month, Shabbat number four for the month. But on this day, this is actually the 14th of the month in the Hebrew calendar as sunset begins Sukkot. So Sukkot day one is going to be on the 19th. Of September and that goes for seven days so Sukkot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 um, the eighth day is the last great day and that is also a Shabbat so here in the month the seventh Hebrew month we have eight Shabbats we had Yom Teruah we have the Day of Atonement we have the four regular Shabbats you have Sukkot the first day Sukkot the last day and the last great day they're all Shabbats and then you go into October and you have the final Shabbat. But these, this is that's why this is a season. That's why I call it a season versus just calling, you know, individual um, Shabbats. So I'm going to give you the quiet time to take a snapshot of this so that you have it with you. And if you feel free to go over it with me, I am going to wear all white on September 14th, which is the Hebrew 10th day um, for the Day of Atonement. White from head to foot possibly cotton or linen or whatever you have that's white or as close to white as you can get um, as a um, show of solidarity and oneness with the father so i'm going to go ahead and be quiet for 10 seconds so you can take a screenshot have a blessed pre-prep day shalom